welcome to our calculus lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how the commonly used board in Western Africa, typically called Oware, can be used to do many things, including addition and so on. But for this lesson, I want to focus on how you represent numbers and how you do single digit addition. Notice that the board has two rows of six digits. So you can write any number in each of these holes. And this is the least significant, that's the most significant. And the hole on the left here, we use it for digit calculation. And what is here is used to represent an infinite supply of writing number stones. So as an example, if you want to write numbers, this is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, So you have 10. And likewise, you can pursue 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. When it gets to the 20, you will drop one stone here and you have 20. So we can write almost any number, 23. We can write 43. We can write 143, we can write 443, we can write 1,443, we can write 31,443, or we can write 231,443. So we can write and represent any number, both positive and negative. What I've shown you are positive numbers. Later, we shall take a look at how to have negative numbers. So if you can write any kind of numbers, you could also write them here. This is 32. So I can set up two numbers and then try to do an addition. What you need to remember is that if this is A and that is B, and you were to do an addition on them, you need to have a C. But our machine has only two rows, that's two registers. So I have to find a place to put the C. In this case, we shall override the B, which is on the second row. And so by convention, the second row contains results, typically. So with that, we can try and see if we can do at least single digit additions. So I have 3 and a 2. If I want to add it, the rule says that the first digit, first row, first number, you don't need to touch it. But the second number, you must touch it because you need to put a third number there. So we do a copy of the one you don't touch. It's least significant and most significant. You take it, a copy and put. Then you collect all of the stones or move and the total is less than 10 so the answer here is 5. We can continue. So if we were to for example add the numbers this is 5 and 6 if we were to add 5 and 6 what do you get? You follow the same procedure. You take 5 a copy of that then you collect all of the stones here. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this is part of the answer. So because you have that, you keep one stone here. Then you are on the second digit. You make a copy of this and you remove all of this. Copy of 0 is 0, remove all of this is 0. So your answer is 11. So you can continue. And even create more interesting cases. This is 5, 6, 7, 8, and let's say 9. 
So if I add 9 and 11, what do I get? Well, I have to collect 9 stones. So this is me collecting the stone. So that's my 9 stones. Okay, you can see. Goes here. Then I take all of this, add it here. I bring my zero back here, and I leave one stone here. Now make a copy of zero. I remove all of these and add, and my answer is twenty. So we can construct some other ones. Still single digits. Three, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. This is the largest number I can put here. So if I add 2 and 9, you do it like this. Make a copy of the 2. Then you collect all of these. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is part of the answer. Then I keep one stone back here. I make a copy of 0. I collect all this. And the answer is 11. So you can work with, you know, th this machine, in this case, like a calculator. It's a mechanical calculator. It's not a game. And this is the end of the lesson. And in the next lesson, I will show you some other things.